Hey everyone, it's Ophi from the Astro Twins and AstroStyle.com with your February monthly money horoscope. So uh, for the last decade plus, we have been writing these out, but we decided to try something new, mix it up, and give you your special money and career report as a video and audio broadcast. Because, you know, you got dishes to do, you got rooms to clean, you got places to drive or commute. So why not listen and take it all in while you're on the go? Um, and try something new. It's all about new decade, new format. So hope you enjoy it. And of course, you can always go to astrostyle.com and read lots of text about your finances and career in our general monthly horoscope too. So uh, but here's what's happening in February. We open the month with the sun in Aquarius, which is the sign of technology and innovation groups and teams. So it's a time to really reach out to your network. You want to uh, think about ways you can bring people together to collaborate, play the super connector, crowdsource. Um, Aquarius rules technology. So if you haven't been looking into, say, digital currency or financial tracking apps, well, this is a great time to start learning more about that or maybe even dabbling in that area. Now, Mars, we always look at because it's a planet of energy, drive, and ambition. And Mars is going to split the month evenly between Sagittarius and Capricorn. So in the first half of the month, until the 16th, Mars will be finishing up a visit to Sagittarius, which is this adventurous, entrepreneurial, and risk-taking sign. Now, Mars is like stepping on the gas pedal. So whatever sign it's in, you get a sort of a turbo boost in that area. So it's been here since January 3rd. If you found that you've been uh, a little more optimistic or willing to take a chance, take a leap of faith in 2020 since the new year, well, that's probably why. Mars is probably playing a part in that. Um, so we're not saying you should throw all caution to the wind because Mars can make us a little bit cocky and maybe not quite risk averse as we should be. But um, look, sometimes you never know unless you try, or as Nelson Mandela said, it's only impossible until it's done. So if you've been telling yourself, hmm, I don't think I can do that, that's not me, they'll always pick someone else. Well, let Mars rev up that spirit of competition and courage and just go for it. Um, you know, if you think you have a fighting chance, throw your hat in the ring. You, you know, you got nothing to lose. Uh, the February 9th Leo full moon gives you an extra shot of courage, too. It's a Leo is this dramatic performative sign and a full moon, sort of like a cosmic coming out party for all of us in the month. So between uh, Mars being in Sagittarius that day and the Leo full moon, it's a really, uh, it's a really fiery moment to get some goals off the ground and get into action. Fire signs are all about taking action. So no more talk. It's time to do one thing, one move, uh, one play that you can make to forward your resolutions, your agenda, your mission, and see what happens. Uh, if you are a creative person or an artist or a performer, this Leo full moon is a, is a really great night to maybe start to show some of your talents to the world, put them on display in whatever small way you can, whether you post something on your social media feed or perform locally or just show someone one of the projects you've been kind of keeping under wraps. Now the second half of the month, we have Mars moving into what's called its exalted position, which is its very favorite sign to be in. It's going to move into Capricorn. So Mars is this kind of warrior planet, and Capricorn is kind of like a five-star general. So you, when I think of Mars and Capricorn, I, I see, you know, shoulder pads and uniforms and medals decorating it. So it's a time of achievement and competition and really putting your best face forward and nothing else. You know, Sagittarius is letting it all hang out. Capricorn's discerning and reserved. So, you know, this is not the time to do the tell-all Instagram story or selfie posting anymore. Now it's time to really refine your public image, show your best, show your competitive edge. 
um, this year is a really special time with Mars being in Capricorn. So Mars only comes to every uh, to each sign of the zodiac every two years, and this year, for the first time in centuries, we have Jupiter, the planet of luck and expansion, Saturn, the planet of ambition and responsibility, which is the ruler of Capricorn, and Pluto, the planet of transformation and the unconscious, all in Capricorn too. So we're going to have four major planets in Capricorn in the second half of the month. Capricorn being the sign of ambition and career and your big kind of status-seeking public moves and leadership, well, it's kind of a big deal. That's the understatement of this entire broadcast there. This is your opportunity to really just go big, go for that leadership opportunity, and make sure your own leadership skills are really up to par, because with Saturn and Pluto there, uh, there's no faking it here. If you are not bringing your best to the table, you will be called out on it. You will, uh, you will not win this round. So Capricorn also rules mentorship, training, mastery, things learned over time. So if you're not ready for the big leagues or prime time, that's okay. It's better to kind of take this period. Uh, and Mars is in Capricorn from February 16th to March 30th. So we've got six weeks here, six or seven weeks to really polish up your skills and see where the kind of weak points are or the weak links in the chain on a team. Because we are still in Aquarius season for a couple of days. You're looking at your team as well. Uh, where do those things need to be strengthened or tightened? What needs to be put in place to make uh, whatever your big goals are really set up for success. Um, who could help you? Who are some of the influential people in your circle or who you may be connected uh, through someone in your network? And how could you maybe reach out to them, learn from them, sign up for a class if you don't have direct access, but find a way to bring those mentoring people into your life and into your world. So uh, we have one exciting day on February 21st when Mars will form what's called a trine, which is a 120 degree angle of harmony and flow with Uranus, the ruler of technology, sudden change, and innovation. And Uranus is in Taurus for the next seven years. So Mars and Uranus kind of playing nice together, that can, well, what happens is it speeds up the energy of both of those uh, those signs, those planets, and what they do and the signs they're in. So Mars is in Capricorn, Uranus is in Taurus. Those are Earth signs related to money, our material resources, planning, decision making, all the practical matters and productivity. So. Are your systems out of date? Is it time to bring more technology in, more innovation, try a new approach? Is it time to, um, you know, this is again, maybe another call for digital currency with Uranus there? Um, or are you up to date on your technology skills and processes? Are you running your, if you're a business owner, are you running your business in the most uh, tech savvy way? Now we have Mercury going retrograde also the same day, February 16th until March 4th. Mercury is a planet of technology, communication, travel, transportation, information. So while Mars is speeding up all of our careers and ambitions, we're going to have to really be careful and make sure all of our systems and data and devices are in check, that everything that we're using to transmit our message and our information is up to par. It's going to be a little bit of a tricky time to navigate that second half of the month. Um, you know, a lot of people have heard about Mercury retrograde now and know that it's a time when people can misunderstand each other easily, devices can crash, uh, electronic data and gadgets go, you know, just suddenly stop working or, you know, you drop your iPhone and it, you know, 
the screen shatters into a million pieces. So what you're going to want to do in the first half of the month is really make sure you back up all your important files and hey, maybe erase the ones that shouldn't be on the company server with all that Capricorn big brothers. Definitely maybe checking through some of the data there. So you can't be too careful when Mercury's retrograde or about to be. Um, you want to really watch the things you put in writing, the things you post. You know, if you're applying for a job, people do look at your social media profiles and people have been passed over for jobs for some of those spring break 2007 photos that probably shouldn't even be in your Facebook albums anymore anyway. So change up those privacy settings, strengthen your passwords, and really um, make sure you protect your money or information from any mercury mishaps mercury will be retrograde in pisces which is sort of already has some issues with boundaries and leaking of data to begin with so that's kind of a double warning to keep privacy settings strong for you know all month but really definitely the second half of the month um, so Pisces season begins February 18th for a month. The sun will go into Pisces and move out of Aquarius. So after this really communal time of networking, Pisces awakens our creativity. It's also a time to wind it down and rest and reflect, reevaluate. Pisces is the last sign of the zodiac. So it's the end of the astrological calendar year. So take stock, finish up the loose ends. We have, you know, the Zodiac resets with Aries season, March 20th, 21st, depending on the year at the spring equinox. So for the next month, starting February 18th, you're going to want to really just uh, finish up those, those lingering projects. So you can have a nice reset for spring. The Pisces new moon on February 23rd is a really great day to start anything that is creative or to look at where you can bring a little more compassion to your relationships with clients, with coworkers, with yourself, bring some beauty. Uh, Pisces is the woo woo sign. It's all about the quantum field and manifesting. So look, if you haven't, if you're the vision boarding type, there's no judgment here. We've cut up some magazine pictures of uh, ourselves every so often. So, you know, look, sometimes you need to visualize what you want. So however you do that, whether that's through your screen savers or putting photos up or making a vision board or a collage, whatever works for you, that Pisces new moon is a really great time to really um, make sure that your right brained, uh, powers are, are working on your behalf as well. You know, it's not enough just to write down and say what you want. Put into a musical or visual format that really brings it into your field and, and makes you feel something when you think about it. You know, turn on that engine of desire and pull what you want to you. If that wasn't woo-woo enough, well, that's what I've got. So, Anyway, you can come on over to astrostyle.com and read your monthly horoscope, read about all the money moves your sign should be making, and you are also invited to check out the portal. It's our new monthly membership program. If you want to learn astrology and more importantly, learn how to use astrology as a power tool in your life for planning the most important dates for everything that matters to you, uh, to learn how to read your chart in a community of supportive people who are also on a mission and up to living great lives that they design. The portal was made for you. Tali and I are going to be there all year long to coach you and mentor you and teach you how to use astrology to make those goals into a reality this year. So we'll see you there. That's at astrostyle.com slash portal. Come and check it out. We hope you'll join us and happy February.